Let's get some more insights on the situation in Europe. I'm joined by James Bevan, Chief Investment Officer at CCLA Investment Management. Hi, James. Hello, Mark. How are you feeling about these markets? Do you think they're at fair value right now? I think that they are most certainly fair value, if not still cheap. What we have are, as you have identified already, rather better than expected results. And I think lots of people have said, oh, yes, well, better results might come from cost cutting. Actually, we're seeing some quite decent revenue gains, mm. and that's really very important. Yeah, I mean, the revenue gains, though, they're not big, are they? Sort of 4% on both sides of the Atlantic. I mean, is that good enough? Well, it's good enough if markets have been adequately cheap, and I would argue that they have been. I would say that the forward-looking climate for money rates remains very supportive. And as long as one is stock-specific, looking for companies with robust balance sheets, strong free cash flow yields, then I think that one is actually quite safe. What's going to propel markets higher there, James? And I've been looking at your notes uh, from the weekend, and you're quite enthusiastic about the prospects for further M&A going forward. Yeah, I mean, I think the real challenge for people who say the markets are due to go up is yeah. who's going to buy the shares that's going and pull price movement and I do think that actually it's going to be companies rather more than private investors or institutions who will be the net buyers of shares mm. and therefore one needs to be thinking about what sorts of companies will be in favour will it be buybacks or will it be straightforward M&A and I think there's a case for both and what types of company do you think will take part in a buybacks and be in m and I think absolutely companies that have strong balance sheets yeah. that, that are building cash because clearly they're going to be saying to themselves what are we going to do with this cash shall we pay a higher dividend shall we buy back shares and give Given the current internal earnings yield, the internal rate of return, buying back shares actually is very value accretive. So I see bags of action there. In terms of M&A, I think this is a really different market mm. than the one we saw in, in the prior great boom of M&A and activity in 2007. This is generating uh, returns on the back of sound business strategies as opposed to financial engineering. So very exciting opportunities across the whole range of And of course, of to pick up an M&A boost investment banks. Absolutely. You can see very good value in companies like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Deutsche. I think they're all very very well placed to report much better results as the uh, year goes by. Talk to me about the banks, James, because a lot of their profitability become, comes down to a, a reduction in loan loss provisions. Strip that away. That's, That's the right. underlying story right now at banks in the US and across Europe. Well, I think looking forward, the real issue is what is the strength of the balance sheet to lend into recovery? And we are hearing that credit is being rationed, and it's being rationed on two fronts. First of all, it's very clear that not everybody who wants to borrow is actually that credit worthy, and therefore banks are quite prudent in saying, no, 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 we're not going to lend. On the other hand, it is very clear that some banks simply don't have enough balance sheet capacity. Banks that do have balance sheet capacity, like HSBC, think are very well placed to prosper. Is there then a two-tier banking industry out there, the, 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 the good banks, the ones that did very well in the stress test, for instance, yeah, I, I, and, know, probably, and the second probably tier? Probably three tiers. Maybe so even three, I, yeah. I, I would say that absolutely there are global banks that are extremely well placed in terms of balance sheet and HTC is one, yeah. Standard Chartered is another, very clearly very well positioned to go forward. I think at the other end of the scale there are some very interesting emerging market opportunities in Turkey, uh, in Singapore, uh, in Latin America, where there are genuine secular growth opportunities that the banks can enjoy. Thirdly, there is an area in the middle where banks simply are reasonable value. James, got to move on, but thank, thank you for you. joining us today. James Bevan there, CIO at CCLA Investment Management.